Honestly, I don't think the... I understand that Oscar wanted to stand up for his guy, but I don't think that press call helped him. And I think that he came off looking like, you know, the kid. He came off the way he came off after the Madonna fight. And I don't think he's made a lot of friends. So, where is he going to go for a big money fight? Mayweather said... But there won't be a burn fight if he doesn't get tested for PEDs. But I'm not accusing him of anything. I make that very clear. I'm not accusing him of anything. Yeah, Floyd Mayweather said that if Victor Ortiz wanted a rematch, that he had to go through Andre Berto. Because Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather's smart enough to know he's not beating Andre Berto now. Mm -hmm. so do you and, think and by the way, what did, what did he do to deserve a rematch? He lost every second of the fight. Exactly. Every second of the fight. What's going on? Champion. I mean, if Zavik Zab was screaming to continue that fight when his eye was fully closed, but he, I mean, he fought like a man. I mean, that was a hell of a fight for as long as it went. And and Berto didn't want to come back against the slouch. I mean, he he knew he had an off night and he knew he had something to prove. And we wanted to get him the opportunity, not to, not, not so much to win a title, which he did and was important, but to fight a world class guy that there could be no doubt that that Berto is, is what he was. You know, it, it, it pisses me off also, but I blame us. And when I said I, 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 mean, I blame our industry, which I am obviously a part of, you know, we are not, we, like that guy was under 30, probably about 30. We are not gaining fans under 35 years old. You know, our, our, honestly, a lot of our announcers are too old. Uh, our presentation is not sexy enough. You know, we don't do a lot of the bells and whistles that MMA does. And I think we have a better product if we present it poorly. And I don't think we market it well enough. And people say, okay, why don't you do more? Well, I try to do what I can do. You know, and I try to keep boxing alive in New York. But the truth is, unless it's an industry, we all get together and change the way we present the sport, you're going to have guys like that saying, is he an MMA star? Did you read my the truth of the matter is that, that our demographic keeps getting older. People keep asking, why are we not on broadcast television? Well, guess what? Advertisers don't want to advertise to our demographic. We have an older demographic. And then there's a younger demographic. They kick our ass in market. They don't have a better product. But I think that, that they, the fact that they have so much power and almost a monopoly, not a legal monopoly, but a realistic monopoly, allows them to do what they want to do, and their marketing is brilliant. Like, I don't hate Dana White. I respect him. I don't think it's out of question. Because you know what? Aaron can continue putting Pacquiao in with guys he has, but he's going to run out of people. And Pacquiao is going to destroy Marquez, not because Marquez isn't great. Marquez deserves that fight because, in my mind, I love that guy. I mean, I, I gave him his first opportunities on, on television. I think Juan Manuel Marquez is one of the greatest fighters at the lower weight classes who's ever lived. That's how much I think of him. But he's also that much smaller than Manny Pacquiao. So it's a physical mismatch, not a skill mismatch. If they were the same size, I'd be betting on Marquez. But they're not. They're not. And I, I think you're going to see another fight where where Manny prevails fairly easily, and, and then where do they go from there? If they're not going to fight each other, where do both of them go from there? You see one day Martinez, and let's assume that... that There's that a much better chance that Floyd Mayweather would fight Martinez than Pacquiao. Well, actually, that's good to know, too, but that's not what I don't think I'm You know why? I'm I think it can happen, because i got to be honest with you. I think they're, that I, I have a real hard on for Margarita. Because to me, the greatest sin you can commit is what he did. And I've spoken to fighters all over the world, and every single one of them said to me, if you put a matchstick in my, in my wrappings, I'm going to feel it. Because that becomes part of my hand. I'm so used to being wrapped. Yeah, so I, like, to me, that's a cardinal sin. So I, I, and the idea that he's getting richer and richer and richer because he cheated makes me sick. Could he have cheated against Martinez 10 years ago? Yeah, but who, who knows? I mean, you don't know. You know, Martinez doesn't want to say that because you can't prove it. But, but if, if I think that right now Cotto, who's a wonderful fighter, a great fighter, is an old fighter and been through some major wars. He's an older fighter, not an old man, but actually in years, but, but in terms of ring, like, what he's had to endure in the ring. Ring wear. He's had a lot of ring wear. If Margarito gets lucky, and by the way, I pray that he doesn't, because I am rooting for Cotto. Like everyone else is rooting for Cotto. But if Margarito wins, the only fight for Margarito is Martinez. That would be a great fight. Yeah, it would be.